tested. Hey, this is Norm from Tested.com, and today I'm going to give you a first look at Alienware's M11X Gaming Notebook. The M11X. As you can see, it looks a lot like the M15X we reviewed a couple weeks ago, but of course, a lot smaller. It's an 11.6 inch screen, and you know what? A lot of people call this Alienware's netbook, but it's not a netbook. Here I have Asus's 1001P netbook they reviewed, and if you compare them to, obviously the Alienware is bigger. It's actually a lot heavier too. It's 4.4 pounds. Uh, the big difference, of course, aside from the 1366 by 7068 11.6 inch screen, is that it's meant for gaming. So what's inside here? Uh, a dual core Intel processor. It runs at 1.3 gigahertz. It's a CULV, which is an ultra low voltage processor. It uses a very low power, a lot of battery life. But there's also an NVIDIA GT335M graphics processor on here, which is a lot better than what you'll find on netbooks, uh, much better than the 9400M on Ion netbooks as well. Um, if you look at it, uh, there's three USB ports, um, there's Ethernet port, there's an HDMI port, uh, display port, and multimedia card reader, and even FireWire. So you're well covered there. It's a little thicker than I thought it would be. Um, for, so definitely thicker than the netbook, but still pretty portable, and yes, it can play games. So here we have the Alienware M11X running portal, which came pre-installed. I have Fraps running, and it looks like the game is running at a comfortable 80 to 90 frames per second with at native resolution. Uh, all settings maxed out, very smooth, and you know, based on this, it'll probably run um, Modern Warfare 2. Just as fine, I think the, the GT335M GPU that has inside is going to be able to run most games. Medium to high settings at 1366 by 768 resolution, no problem. Um, so keep an eye out for our full review, uh, but here is your first look at the M11X. It looks like a pretty, pretty good gaming notebook that you can take on the go.